Hi kids, my name is Nicole and this is Let's Make Art and you are here to paint with us for a special Let's Make Art Matter. And I have a special guest, this is? Ellen. <laughs> and how old are you? Um, six Yeah, and what's your favorite color? Purple. Yes. And who else is here? Dad, man. I'm <laughs> cameraman. <laughs> Dad, man. Hi, I'm Keenan. This is Eleanor. This is my daughter. <laughs> And we're all here to paint together and we're so excited. So we are doing our Let's Make Art Matter, like I said. So go and grab a postcard that's in your box. It'll look like this and it'll have a stamp on it. So we're gonna make and paint something for someone else. Mm -hmm. So this recipient, her name is Kayleen. So we're gonna show a picture of her. This is her and her cute dog. Aww. So she is 10 and she's just like you. She's a kid just like you. She's had to go through some, some surgeries and so we want to cheer her on as she heals and gets better. And we want her to know that she is strong and unique, just like a snowflake. Cause did you know that all snowflakes are different? Yeah. Yeah. So we're gonna paint and draw a snowflake for her just like this today. Oh, oh. <laughs> so we're so excited. Okay, so the supplies we're using are grab out your watercolors from the box. And then we're gonna actually be using this really wide brush because we're gonna be painting this whole area. Oh, Eleanor's is in the water, nice. And then our fun tool that we're doing is this awesome, it's called, a, I call it a magic marker, but it's called the drawing gum marker. And so grab that. And then you'll also notice that Eleanor and I taped our postcard down already because we are going to be painting the whole area. So that way it doesn't move. So this, this tape is actually awesome. I love because it's clear so we can see through. And this is called Holbein. Right, Keaton? Yes, it is. Yes. Holbein soft tape. So, oh, it's called soft tape? It yeah. is soft. Yeah. Okay, so our first step is, is can you raise, actually we'll do our motto. Can you raise your right hand and repeat after me? I am brave. I am, I am brave. brave. I am kind. I am kind. I am creative. I am creative. Let's do this. Let's do this. <laughs> Boom! Boom. <laughs> so good. Okay, so let's grab our magic marker. And you remember what was the first step we have to do? We have to shake it. Yeah. Good job. So shake your marker. If this is your first time using it, you're gonna need to shake it for a little bit longer. So maybe shake it for 20 seconds. And then let's test it on here. So open it up, and if you, this is your first time, it will be white, but ours is blue because we've used this before, but I want you to push down and then lift up. And then draw. Does yours see blue? Yeah, so if you see blue lines, then you're good to go. If you don't, what I want you to do is I want you to push down so the, the tip disappears into the pen, and then you're gonna lift up. So you're pumping it to basically get the ink flowing into here. Oh, remember that thing when I did that? What'd you do? Remember I made bubbles. Oh, you did. <laughs> <laughs> so sometimes if you press too much, bubbles might come out, but that's okay, we did do that. I did, push, push, and then <laughs> boom. <laughs> <laughs> you did. Okay, so step one is we are going to draw a snowflake. Do you want to show them how to draw a snowflake? First you do a line, and then in the middle of the line, you're going to put a little dot. Mm -hmm. Now you're going to put a little X on the dot. Then, if you want to, you can put some decorations on um, the snowflake. Yeah! That was this so good. Diamonds. Yes, yeah, so you could add diamonds on top. Eleanor's is so good. You can add diamonds and color it in. So we're using this marker right now, and you'll see it's a light blue, but it will be white when we're done painting with it. So that was mm. so good. So we're gonna add diamonds on top. You can add some, let's see what else. We also made some lines Yes. Like this. Yeah. So I, I think of them as arms coming off of the body. Mm-hmm, that's kind of like it. <laughs> Actually, all like it. Yeah, they're all like that. So we're drawing lines and on there, so they're like these. Oh, and then what is that? Dots. Dots. So you can add dots anywhere. You're so good I at teaching. I put dots on the arms. Yeah. 
You can add more dots anywhere. So again, we're making a beautiful, unique snowflake for Kaylee. She's gonna love this. Good job. Then, let's see, we always have to remember. Or do you keep going? Yeah, do yeah. more. Mm, this is my last snowflake. Okay, you keep going, there's no there. rush. I kind I think I'm done. <laughs> I love I'm that. Make, put, some dots around it. Okay, let's do it. Maybe like um, some more snowflakes that are really far away. Ooh, oh, good. Oh, that's a great idea. Yeah, because when things are far away, they're smaller. Yep. <laughs> so good. Wow. Boom. I'm putting a lot of dots together. This is gonna be so pretty. To make it a lot of. It's really snowing. Mm-hmm. I love, do you like snow, Eleanor? Yeah, that's what? why I'm making so many snowflakes. What is your favorite part about snow? That you can make a snowman, Ooh. snowball, Ooh. and a snow. You could also make something else, like a snow bear, a snow dog. Ooh. Oh, yes. okay. You can do anything like that. <laughs> as long as you can make it, you can do it. Yeah. I don't know how to make a snow bear, but I bet you could figure it out. We could look online to see. Oh, okay. Snow bears. We could like say, we could write something on your computer like snow bears. How to make a snow bear with snow. <laughs> so good. Nice. I love it. Boom. Okay, so when you're done drawing, you are going to be kind to your tools because we need to be kind. So we're gonna take the cap off and then put it back on the top so that our marker does not dry out. So do that. Then when you're done with that, we're gonna get ready to paint. So grab out your watercolors in your palette. Now here's the cool thing is we are starting with the three colors, orchid, Azure blue and dandelion yellow, but you can make all of these colors. We can mix your favorite color. Purple. Do you want to do that? Six drops orange. Orchid. Orchid. It's, a, it's this pinky color. Mm. Plus one drop blue. Yeah! So orchid is like pink or red, which you know red and Blue. Make, make purple. Yeah, you got it. So we're gonna follow those steps. So we're gonna do six drops. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. Do you wanna do one drop of blue? Mm-hmm. And then we're gonna mix it. So you can do any colors that you want. We're gonna paint our snowflake. So I want you to mix your colors first so then you can be ready to paint. Yeah, let's see what we get, Eleanor. Oh, that's a purple if I've ever seen that's one. That's a beautiful color. Wait. Do you love that? Oh. oh. Did it get on you? Oh, oh, I just oh, a little oh, bit. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I was lucky. <laughs> so this is what we're going to do. We're going to paint over our snowflake, and then you'll see it like that. I love it. So if there are other colors, maybe at some point Eleanor and I, and I will want some pink. If you want some yellow, maybe I'll make some of this blue. Let's see, where'd our blue go? Oh, underneath you. So mix your colors and get ready to do this. Two drops. I wanna make it purple. You wanna make it purple? Okay, perfect, so we have purple. So let's set this aside. <laughs> then, okay, there's all your colors. You're cute. Okay, so. I think this will be okay. That so doesn't if, take very long to dry, yeah. does it? Wow. Okay. okay, so whenever you paint, so we got your purple, so we're gonna be using these colors. So we have these four colors, right? Actually, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Ooh, I'm gonna make turquoise. So okay. turquoise has a little bit of yellow in it. So we're gonna have those six colors. So, turquoise. Turquoise is blue and just a little bit of yellow. So, six drops blue. Mm-hmm. 
plus one drop yellow. Yeah, good job. Look at that. Ooh, that's a nice deep blue Isn't turquoise. That pretty. Nice. Okay, so whenever we. I'm going to make half of it. Whoa. Cool napkin. <laughs> When, whenever we use watercolors is dip in your water and then pick a color. So you're going with purple? And this is a cool trick. Show if us. You used water and put it on your napkin. <laughs> and then you used one color like turquoise and you put it on the water. That <gasps> would happen. Whoa, show us, pull it over to the camera a little bit for us. There do you, you want to do that on your paper too? Do it on your paper. Let's do, do water it on your first? paper. Is that what you're doing, Eleanor? No, I only wanted to do it. <gasps> oh! Look how pretty! <laughs> Let's paint that. I think I'm gonna use those colors. So you're gonna pick a color and you're gonna paint right on your paper. So you can paint the whole thing one color. You can mix colors. Ooh. I... Whoa, that's kind of like purplish turquoise. Yes, Whoa, it is. you made a cool color. So you're gonna paint the whole thing. And if you need more paint, you can always go and make more. Got to make us more purple. Whoa! Ooh, you got custom colors. Whoa, in there, Eleanor. cool, Eleanor. I need a dark blue. Yeah, you did. If you just want purple, you got to get it out of that well that Nicole just mixed the purple in. You want some purple? Or do you want that to be purple? Or do you like it blue? Purple. Okay, so pick up this color. Watch, pick up that color so that's the orchid and then paint on top of the blue. Whoa! Oh, it's all purple now. You made purple. Ah, we need some more orchid. You want more? Yeah. Okay. So then when you are done, this time, we need to take a snack break because we want this to be fully dry and then we're gonna erase out the lines. So. Let's take a snack break and then we'll meet you back. Yes. And we're back. <laughs> and we're ready to do the last step. So we let ours dry. Now it may be a little bit wet still, so I have a quick trick for you. Is if you have, we're gonna use my paper towel. Is yours kind of wet? Yours is a little bit wet, so we can use mine. But you're gonna go like this, really dab, lightly, dab, dab. dab. And make sure, because you can see a little bit, make sure it's fully dry. Then we're going to use our next tool, which is our finger. What? <laughs> so this tool is you're going to rub off all of the white that you drew with the gum marker. So on any of these white spots, go like this and rub. And there will start to be that, the, um, Hold on, how do I say this? The glue will come up. Thank you. You will start to see the glue come up off as you're rubbing it off. So you're rubbing it. Okay, so we have a cool tool. It's called a cement pickup. So do you want to try to use this? Mm -hmm. So use it like an eraser and you're going to rub off on that area. Let's try it actually if it'll help if you do the tip like this and the then you go like that. Yeah, the corner? Yeah, the corner. Oh. Yeah. So if you have one of those tools, you can use that. But again, we're rubbing off now here's the cool thing is it kind of blends so i pick i have some of my color in the white and i think that looks so cool good job whoa oh you're getting a lot off so you're rubbing a little bit so maybe rub all the white dots off that looks it doesn't so take cool. a whole lot of rubbing to get yeah. all the, the glue off the paper because i think you're rubbing off some of your color so keep going so Which rub makes off it the look glue. super cool but yeah. yeah it looks like the snowflake is outer space Ooh, does. yes but you don't want to rub so much that you go through your paper okay our next step is is all of these little shavings move them off to the side like this yeah and maybe Whoa, we'll... I have a bunch. oh you do have a lot so get them all off we'll clean it all our table off after then the last step is is you're gonna remove your tape do you want to lift up and take off your tape? There you go. This is the fun part. It's the big reveal. Ooh. <gasps> yeah. Eleanor, look at that. 
Okay, so we are all done, and this is the postcard, so don't forget to put it in the mail because this is going to Kaylee, and we're so excited, and thank you for painting with us. This is our Let's Make Art Matter. This is our special postcard. <laughs> and always remember that you're brave, kind, and so creative, and thanks for painting with us. Bye. Bye.